For this factor label problem, we're trying to figure out if you were in driver's ed class and it was your turn to drive on the expressway, if you were driving at a speed of 40 meters per second and the official posted speed limit is 120 kilometers per hour, you must be in Europe for the day, would you be given a speeding ticket by the police officer driving behind you? Now normally you wouldn't start with a thing that has the word per in it, but that's all we've got. We don't have any other number that we could start with. so. I'm gonna make that my given, 40 meters per second. And we wanna know how many kilometers per hour that is, so we could compare it to this 120 to see if 40 meters per second is faster than 120 kilometers per hour. We've got multiple conversion factors going on. We're gonna to have to get our meters into kilometers and our seconds into hours. So a meters to kilometers link, there's a thousand meters in a kilometer. If you don't already have that conversion factor memorized, you'll probably want to get it in your brain. You're going to be using it a lot this year. And we need seconds into hours. Well, most people don't know seconds to hours right off the top of their head, but they do know there's 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. So I'm going to use those three conversion factors to get me there. So we always start with our given over the number one, right? We're still going to do that this time. I'm just going to add a little bit. 40 meters over one second. Usually the one at the bottom is just a placeholder. But when we say 40 meters per second, we're really saying 40 meters per one second. We just leave out the one. That for every one second's worth of time, you would have gone 40 meters worth of distance. So 40 meters per second, we still get our given over the number one. We just have a unit on the bottom instead. You will never have two units together on the top or two units together on the bottom. You only get one unit on the top, one unit on the bottom. That's it. It'll never be a blended unit on the top or a blended unit on the bottom. If you do, you're doing it wrong. So we need to get those meters into kilometers and the seconds into hours. So I'm going to cover up the seconds here for just a second, pretend like it's not there, and just worry about getting our meters into kilometers. Since I want my meters to cancel out and go away, I'm going to put the 1,000 on the bottom and the one kilometer part up on top. Meters and meters would cancel. Now we're just at kilometers per second, but we want to get kilometers per hour. So I have the kilometers part of my kilometers per hour, so that's looking good. Now I just need to get my seconds into hours. This time, since I want my seconds to cancel out and go away, and now my seconds are already on the bottom, I need some seconds on the top to cancel out with these. So 60 seconds is gonna go up here on the top, and the one, out, one minute part's gonna go on the bottom. Seconds and seconds will cancel out. If we stop the problem right now, we'd have kilometers per minute. We want kilometers per hour, so we have to keep going. We want our minutes to cancel out and go away. Because minutes are on the bottom, we need some minutes on the top this time. So 60 minutes in an hour. Minutes and minutes cancel. Now we have kilometers over hours. That's the unit we want, so kilometers per hour. Now we just have to do a little bit of multiplying. 40 times one times 60 times 60 on the top is 144,000. On the bottom, one times 1,000 times one times one, 1,000. So 144,000 divided by 1,000, you're going 144 kilometers per hour you're going to have a bad day. You're going to get a speeding ticket by the police officer driving behind you.